We start in New York, where Portugal's former Prime Minister Antonio Guterres is poised to become the next Secretary General of the United Nations. A straw poll shows he has the backing of 13 of the 15 council members, and none of the five countries that hold veto power blocked his candidacy. And Vicky Cherkin, the Russian ambassador to the UN, made the declaration alongside 14 other council ambassadors. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you are witnessing, I think, a historic scene. I, I don't know if it has ever been done this way in the history of the United Nations before. As you know, we have conducted our sixth uh, straw poll, and uh, this has been a very uh, important process of selecting the next uh, Secretary General, and uh, I think we have treated it with great responsibility. Well, Chuck In says a formal vote by the Council will take place on Thursday to confirm Guterres. He says he expects the selection to be by acclamation. And Guterres will be the first former head of government to lead this world body, and he has pledged to bolster the UN's peacekeeping efforts and its promotion of human rights. And CCTV correspondent Lilin Tan has more. Well, Antonio Guterres, in his vision statement to the UN when he was presenting his case for uh, what he would do if he were elected uh, UN chief, he said that the UN faces, he highlighted some of the key challenges that the UN faces from poverty to hunger, gender inequality, peace and security and terrorism, and said that the UN needs to be in a better position to more capably uh, address these growing crises. Now, he also underscored the reforming of the UN development system, saying that all support must be provided to member nations and also called for the mainstreaming of human rights, of a human rights emphasis, emphasis across the UN system to prevent violations and abuse. And he also said that any reforms must focus heavily on delivery and results. Now, he also stressed the importance of transparency and accountability, something that the UN has come under a lot of criticism, especially lately. But that's also part of the reason why this uh, selection process for the UN chief has been unprecedentedly transparent. He also talked about the UN's reputation, saying that uh, there needs to be a big push for anybody serving under the UN flag to hold the highest ethical standards and also talked about raising the prestige and improving the reputation of the UN peacekeeping force which has of course also come under increasing criticism over the spate of uh, sex abuse and, explo and exploitation scandals uh, that the peacekeeping force has been accused of in the past year.